Well, shipbuilder Austal USA will get to build at least two more littoral combat ships. This is a live look at the Austal shipyard from our Gulf Quest camera. The U.S. Navy has contracted with the company to build more of the LCSs, but as News 5's Bill Riles reports, that's despite the Navy secretary saying they only needed one more. Hostel says it's been awarded contract modifications to build two more littoral combat ships. They would be LCS 32 and 34. Some of this comes from the recently finalized $674 billion defense appropriations bill. And it wasn't a sure thing since the Navy has said it only wanted a total of 32 ships. The appropriations bill actually calls for three more LCSs from both Hostel and Lockheed Martin. And you can thank Alabama Senator Richard Shelby for the extra three ships. Shelby is chairman of the powerful Senate Appropriations committee. The new ships would be the 16th and 17th LCSs built by Austell and come in under the price cap set by Congress of $584 billion. But it means the 4,000 member workforce at Austell should stay strong through 2023. Construction of LCS 32 is set to begin next year. And while the LCS program is a winner in the appropriations bill, so is the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program based at Eglin Air Force Base. The Pentagon had asked for 77 of the new fighter jets, but the House and Senate agreed on purchasing 93 more F-35s. That program has been under fire for some time for being behind schedule and way over budget. In Mobile, Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.